While frontline police work is undoubtedly highly dangerous, another dog ensures danger is kept at bay as he works to detect explosives. English Springer Spaniel Paddy is a fully trained explosives detection dog. He has the astounding ability to sniff out one billionth of a gram of an explosive substance and regularly provides crucial security to thousands of members of the public. In the last five years of service, he has given event organizers peace of mind during royal and VIP visits and large-scale sporting events. After all this time, his handler, Colin Singer, is still in awe of his talent. Paddy's a, a very experienced dog and he will actually work very well on his own on his own. I sometimes think whether he needs me or not, to be honest, he, he, he can do it on his own. Today, Paddy and Colin are taking part in a two-day exercise at two specially selected venues. So-called continuation training is essential for any working explosives detection dog. The first venue is St David's Cathedral in Pembrokeshire, West Wales. As well as hosting numerous public military events, this historic site is regularly visited by members of the British royal family. Before such a high-profile occasion, explosive detection dogs like Paddy will be called in to clear the building. Today's training is designed to simulate these security procedures. The cathedral, like any other venue, has its own individual scent pattern. The challenge for any detection dog is to identify a specific odour against such a backdrop of neutral smells. Paddy's success will rely heavily on the chemicals used in training. The more chemicals he's trained on, the more reliable he will be. The instructor plants a sample of an explosive substance known as a sweetener. The dogs have got to be able to cope in a lot of different environments and uh, different scenarios training days such as this are very rewarding for the dog and it gives us the opportunity to make sure the dogs and the handlers are working together as a team. The cathedral is a challenging venue with narrow staircases, confined rooms and low walls with high drops. Finding the hidden sweetener is a challenge for both Paddy and Colin. They work as a close-knit team. When I'm working with Paddy, he listens to uh, one specific command from me, which is fetch. Not only do we use voice commands, we actually do use our body movement quite a lot. So to get the dog to move over to one side of the room or from one side of the road to the other, we do use hand signals. And by that I mean we'll, we'll put our arm out or we'll actually physically move across to a, a different part of the room ourselves. In a real-life situation, Paddy will be expected to work for 45 minutes without receiving a reward. A great test of his focus and drive. Fortunately, strong determination is part of his genetic makeup. English Springer Spaniels were originally bred as gun dogs in order to flush or spring game birds. They excel when physically active, which makes them well suited as working dogs. They will not give up until they find what they're looking for. Dogs have the capacity to detect the presence of a specific chemical at concentrations as low as 1.1 parts per trillion. This is up to 100,000 times lower than what has been documented in humans. When you're trying to detect a scent, you're, you're looking for volatile chemicals usually. So the dog's ability to detect the scent depends on volatiles. Because the chemical sense of dogs is so well developed at birth, you can start training dogs with chemical cues literally within a few days. When Paddy locates the scent of explosive material, he will give what's known as a passive response. He simply sits and stares to indicate the location of the substance. After a successful indication, Paddy finally receives his reward, a tennis ball. The purpose of employing detection dogs as a security measure is ultimately to prevent the loss of life. The dogs remain the most consistent and effective method of detecting a substance. Because if, if somebody uh, is targeting a particular okay. venue and they know that the security measures of that venue are tight and dogs are involved, uh, it may deter them from actually carrying out uh, the tasks that they, they want to do. 
It is reassuring to know that PADI remains such a highly effective tool in the fight against global terrorism. But for PADI, it's just another day doing what he loves best. <laughs>